Right, so continue with the basics theme and carrying on sort of after you nosy lot wants to see what mine and Andy's kit consisted of, we thought we'd carry it on a little bit with this one. And I want to go through how I set things up. You know what I mean? My basic setup when I'm sat on my peg. You know what I mean? Really important, the little tiny things that just makes things more efficient, keeps everything to hand, just makes everything flow, which is so, so important with the type of fishing I'm doing. Efficiency is massive and having everything that, what's it, that to hand sort of thing, that old age, or oh, everything's got to be to hand, lad. That sort of thing has got to be right, but everything has its place and it's where it needs to be. So I'm going to cover, yeah, I'll go through what we'll start on, cover everything one thing at a time. Um, and talk about what's what. First thing I want to talk about is my box. Obviously, box is sat up when I need it to be. I'm a big, big fan of two trays. I am now in the Tommy two trays gang, much to the piss taking of many of my mates. It just it keeps things where I want them to be. I mean, great big fan of having great big tray and another little tray behind me. It keeps everything where I want it to be. You know what I mean, I'll have my big tray at the side of me that has all my bait on. I mean, any bait that I'm going to use, whether it's a big tub of ground bait, whatever particles, bits and bobs, all go on my main tray with my cloth. Also on my main tray, never ever without them three items right there. Plummet, Disgorger, Loop Tire. That is my routine. They come out and my phone goes here as well. Once I start fishing, my phone goes right in that little space there so I know what time it is. And that is my little setup in that corner. Cloth on there, everything simple. Yeah, I know where everything is. On my other tray is all my fiddly bits. Yeah, again, so it's to hand. My big hook length box, on my big hook length bag that keeps all my hook length boxes in. Whatever boxes I think I'm going to use on the day, I have them separate, along with pole pots and any random bait. I mean, any weird tubs, tubs of wafters, hookable pellets, whatever, I mean, mugging pellets, all them sorts of tubs, they go in there out the way where I don't want a big clutter of daft baits. I mean, they're just me in cases, but it's to hand. Yeah, it's not in a bag that I've got to root about for it. It is literally, as I'm sat there fishing, on a tray, really nice, easy to get. So I know it's faffy. I mean, two trays, bit of a pain in the, in the bum to carry to your peg, but we don't carry gear no more. We stick them on trolleys or we park right there. It's all good. It just keeps everything where I want it to be. I mean, I'm never looking for anything. It feels like I've got loads of space to put buckets of ground bait, whatever else. It keeps everything really good. So two trays for me, massive, massive, massive must. Plus, my rigs are just behind it. Obviously, they get emptied out at the start of the match. Put whatever rigs I want on this tray. Um, my rigs are covered. If I need to, I can grab them, but... As a rule, they stay there. Bait bag at the back there, in case I need anything random during the day. Big bag here. Um, drinks, whatever else. All me faffy about stuff, just if I need it. Again, I never want to go in these all day. Ideally, I want to get it out, get it ready at the start. It is good to go. So all me basic kit. Really, really, really simple around me actual peg. Top kit wise, and I'm a fussy on this, and it comes back to the coaching days in where you have your top kits. I've been very much both ends of the scale for years and years and years very very lazy i used to rest them on my tray and i'd have two bait boxes either side and stick all my bait but all my top kits in between them just resting on the tray itself um, and resting on the floor it ain't the way to do things i mean i've been lazy in the past i've done it and what you end up with is stuff blowing everywhere in the wind which for me when it's windy the worst thing in the world is not concentrating on your fishing is to worry about your kit blowing off get rid of that completely with a roost but also by using roofs now, just how I've got them, it keeps everything off the ground. I mean, elastics and top kits cost a fortune. The last thing I want is to put a brand new elastic in, stick it in the mud, it's knackered, full of bits, minging straight away. Get it off the ground. I mean, keep it nice. These new roofs that Matrix do, without getting tackle pluggy, are the best things on the plant. They might be the, my favourite item of tackle, nearly. They're right up there. I love having great big massive roost. In that case, I use the 24 one all the time. Even if I'm setting four top kits up, 24 one put it out and i can literally just throw my top kit on without looking i mean i'm not faffing about with a little tiny he sounds weird doesn't he little tiny target i stick it all on i've got a big massive thing spread my kit out everywhere keeps it off but the way that they're ridged as well it means they're not going to blow out which is the same down this end see i've got the 12 version down this end am i saying the right numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i think it's 12. i have that in my back of me like the matrix trays are brilliant because they're self-supporting so I've not got to worry about dropping a leg down. I mean, no matter what way to put on it, flipping, I could nearly stand on it. What are you lying for? Probably not. But I can have that stumpy leg there, you can see, with me roost on. Keeps everything right in the right place. Yeah, I'm not having to stretch for it. My top kits are like 10 inches towards me. They're not here, so they're not covering things. They're not getting bashed up with my landing nets. They're just, it's the perfect place for me. I've tried all over the place with having a 
a roost here, a roost right the way across, a bit further back. That for me is the perfect place in the world. Nothing goes there for me. Yeah, everything's out the way. It keeps everything nice and safe, really, really to hand. So as I'm fishing, I'm literally, I'm not even stretching for them. They're right there. They're as simple as to pick which one I want. I can reach all the way through it. There's plenty of room. If I really want to get faffy, I could put another one on that one just to fit my rods on. Don't need to go down that though. That's a big match only. But again, looks after me pole, number one, and keeps everything nice to hand. Really, really, really simple. Next up, landing net. Yeah, this is a... Another pet hate of mine and how people have the landing net. I want it fast, I want it efficient. I mean, I don't want to be reaching, I don't want to be stretching. I literally want to put my hand down and grab it without even looking for it. And by having it right there in me, me best as possible position, what I tend to do is have it on that little join there. Or if it's windy, I might even put it like that. It keeps it exactly where I want it, running right through. So I'm literally picking it up, pushing it down to me fish. It's always simple, it's always the hand stays exactly where I want it to be. Yeah, couldn't be easier. None of this sideways stuff. It's right where I want it. If I drop a fish, it'll fall on me flipping net. It keeps everything where I want it. And it's always propped up at the back of me. Obviously, depending on the peg, today I wouldn't need it. But I always have my big rod bag that carries all my kit, whether it's me hard case, or in this case, the big massive six tube old all. I want that there just to get it level and keep it nice. I mean, it keeps it off the ground, keeps it clean again. Nothing worse than having a stone in your landing net that's going every time you go in and out. Yeah, that's definitely going on the group, that, isn't it? Um, yeah, keeps it nice. Rod bag at the back, that is where it goes. And I'll use that rod bag as well to maybe put a pole section on if I'm fishing short. It's just another option to keep things off the ground, keep things clean, keep things nice. So big, big thing for me, having me land the net through. Quick go to the front of me box. I mean, I'm a big, big fan, and you have to be in this day and age with um, obviously fishing matches to having the option of using big, big multiple amounts of keep nets. I mean, huge on that. So I'll always have my extendable thing on the front. I can put, um, I tend to have four. I mean, I'll go up to four on it. And after that, I just get rid of a net and replace the, the right-hand side one. In my case, I'll just get rid of one, put another one on if I need more than four. But most venues I go to in the north aren't that good anyway. <laughs> so four nets, plenty for me, but keep things all exactly where I want them. And then lastly is the pole sock, which I've got obviously on my right-hand side. We'll whiz round two now. But my pole sock is so, so important for having everything nice. I mean, we've been through the, um, the roller setup already on the previous video. You've seen how I do all of that, keeping it where I want it. But you can see with pole sock like this, if you lot can still see me, keeps everything lovely. I'm gonna have to get out of the way. Rich is gonna shoot around here in a minute. You can see with pole sock, what I have it is I've got both of them to put my stuff in if I need to, but I'll also love using the middle bit. So I can actually have three lots technically. I can have my big sections in the big one, my little section in the little one, but I can use this for speed. I often just stick it in the middle of, in between them when I'm nice and quick. But it keeps everything lovely and safe. So with a pole roller with a middle bit, I can have everything nice and safe, looks after my pole, doesn't blow about. It's all about keeping my kit secure and not having to worry about it when I'm, while I'm fishing, while at the same time knowing where everything is. I mean, really, really, really big thing. Everything's to hand, as we keep saying. Everything's really simple, everything's, you know I mean, as efficient as it could possibly be. So yeah, nice little nosy bit. That is how I have my kit for a basic match. Right, so we hope you are enjoying the video that you're watching. If not, have just watched. But what we'd also like you to see is the packages that we include for our more technical, informational stuff, where what we can bring to you is all we pretty much know about the technical side and our match style side of fishing. I'm and what not we in have, this bit. <laughs> you are, of course you are in this bit. We have two sides of things. We have a basic package that for $4.99. You can watch us fish live matches, a QA every month, and additional stuff from Matty Doors with live matches and more technical stuff on his side. Or we have the all access package where you can literally see technical insights live matches from again from us but also from some of the best anglers flipping on the planet i mean we treat it as three days coaching for us and we go out and we show you what we're learning for anglers like darren cox andy bennett their ship to name Loads. but a few well worth a look if you fancy having a little bit more fishing content to watch